Welcome to Backwater Casting. On today's show, we got a special treat covering the children's fishing tournament from the MBSFA on the Oromocto St. John River system. The kids get to fish for smallmouth bass, eastern chain pickerel, and yellow perch, and there's trophies for first, second, and third in each of those divisions in each of three different age groups. So there's lots of trophies, prizes for everybody. Obviously, most of the kids are from the Maritimes. We have anglers from Nova Scotia, PEI, and obviously New Brunswick. But we had a special treat this year with a young man and his mom who came from Australia, fished with us today. He first riding a bass boat for him, first time with me meeting somebody from Australia. So we had a great time out in the water with him today. If there's pickerel or bass in there, that's what you're going to get. And it's, but it's weedless and just do throw I it all the way. Do I just wind it back in? No, just throw it, let it sink. So, so let it go to the bottom and then just pull it ahead a little bit and then reel the slack up and then pull it ahead a little bit and reel the slack up. Charles, you're a long way from home, all the way up here from Perth, Australia. How did you find out about the NBSFA's kids fishing tournament today? My mum, like, well, I think she was like reading the newspaper and she saw an article about it. So then she like texted like the head of, and um, found out about it. Really. Flip them right in. Just lift right in. Oh. There's your first pickerel. So he has Does teeth. Does he have any spikes? He has teeth. Pretty obvious you fished before because you know how to handle a fishing rod. So what kind of fish do you like to catch when you're back home? Just to name a few, um, whiting, flathead, bream, um, rock cod, um, uh, trevally, and um, I like to fish out my local jetty, which is um, in the Swan River. All right. Oh, you got a perch. Okay, that can go in live well too. I've caught quite a few perch before, but I think it's my first fish of the day. It was pretty good. Lift that lid right there and we'll chuck them in there. It put up a tiny fight, but it took it right next to the boat. I saw the fish follow my lure in and yeah, it's pretty good. Um, I've got two smallmouth bass. My dad got a, a little bass, I think. Well, I can't remember how big it was, but it was a bass. I got, I got have one. Okay, let's see what you got. Oh, it just look. Okay, bring him in. Bring him in. I can't. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Bass. Adley, you got two fish on. That was a huge bass. I still have a tiny bass. Yeah, okay. Just bring him in the boat. Bring him in the boat. Bring him in the boat. Oh. What? <laughs> yeah. Did you see that, darling? Get the net. Look at the Get size. The Look at the size of that thing. Okay, okay, okay. It's a two okay, come on. Let's go. Okay, come on. Oh, oh, oh. Come here. What? Let go. Let go. Let go. Let go. Oh my God, miss. <laughs> oh, darling, you have the bass. Yeah, you don't have the perch. Got the she got. Yeah, I didn't see that at first. I know, I knew it was real, 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 real. Yeah, I couldn't see it. Keep That's reeling. A, she has a perch too. Yeah, she got a big bass on there. And a perch. Yeah. Keep reeling. Keep reeling, miss. Great job. Keep your, keep your rod tip up. Keep her going. Keep going. Keep going. Yep. Right there. It's a good one. Dad, scoop him. The, yeah, hold on. I can't see him. Right there. I can't see him. You gotta lift it up. Careful. Hold him. Hold him. Hold him. Keep him reeling. Keep reeling. It's like... It's huge, eh? Oh! Look at that! Woo -hoo -hoo. Woo -hoo. Hit your button! Whoa. Look at the size Whoa. of that! Oh, I got two! Look at That's that! That's unbelievable! Look at that fish! If I only caught the big fish, I would, like, freak out because I never caught a fish that big before. Look at that! Hey, what do you think of that? That is huge. Is that awesome? I let's, love about the little guy. <laughs> yeah, let's um, put, let's put him in the live well. What do you think? We'll keep him. Yes. We'll turn him in. Okay. Yes. Can okay, we good. bring that little guy in too? Yeah, I think we'll keep him. What was it like for you to see your daughter do that? It's amazing. The excitement on the kids' faces, the excitement on our faces, um, being able to be able to catch a fish to begin with, and then to catch two fish on one—that's amazing. It's a Watch lifetime fun, shot, yeah. I think. A lifetime can catch. Can I, I'm getting all the seaweed off my lure so, so that the fish 
so it will feel more comfortable to biting it. I'm using a split tail, it, it's for pickerel and basically big fish. Um, it, it sinks a lot so you gotta reel it really fast. Catching fish is, a, I don't want to say it's old hat for anyone, but uh, they caught a lot of fish. But I tell you to see your uh, reel two in and to have a lunker like that going to the live well, especially on tournament day, I think she's going to be pretty happy at the end of it. Well, it's kind of funny, my wife sent me something on Facebook the other day. She said, uh, uh, you can be making money or you can be making memories. So uh, that's what we're here doing today, making memories. This is my fish in here. The perch I caught was, uh, it wasn't really too tricky to get. It was a little hard to reel in and I, when I got it, I was kind of, my heart was beating really fast because I didn't know if I was going to lose it or not. I was hoping I would because I lost a couple, I've lost a lot of fish. Well, I'm using a silver blue fox. They're, um, this one's the orange one. It's, my dad says it's the best one because it attracts fish better. And this is, the, this is the bait that I caught my fish with. And that I've almost caught a couple other fish. And this is my bass. I'm having actually a pretty good day. Um, I caught a fish and it is a bass. It's actually pretty big. It might be actually over my other size of my bass that I caught last year. Yellow perch, little tiny one. Yeah, Same I'd say that's bigger, right? Bigger, yeah. Wes, do you want to release You want to release this one? Yeah. Hold there tight. You go. Hold. Put your thumb in his mouth. Put your thumb in. It'll feel really rough, but it won't, it won't hurt it's you. It's really small. Yeah. Really there tight. As tight as you can. Set him over the side. Set him. There you go. Out here with my grandson and son-in-law, um, fishing the, about the 15th annual New Brunswick Sport Fishing Association uh, Kids Derby, the one we have in, in July every year out of Oromocto. Um, down river a little ways from the town. Um, been fishing since shortly after uh, eight o'clock this morning. Um, tough morning starting out. First half, three quarters of an hour, we're up the, in the creek up here a little ways and couldn't get a bite. So we dropped down on the shoreline a ways and started catching a few perch and a few smaller bass. Uh, it's been, been good. Um, lots of perch around. We've been using the inline spinner here and about every fifth cast, we've been either catching one or hooking one and it getting off. But Keeping busy. Well, I mean, we. Uh, I think, like Andrew said, we were up, we we're up the up the creek there a little ways, and then early on we weren't seeing a whole lot, but started getting into a few smaller perch and a few smaller bass in here, and uh, you know, it's regardless of that, it's been fun. I mean, you just get out day fishing, and the weather's been decent, and and uh, you're on the water. I mean, I don't know, and with family, I don't know what more you could uh, could want to do. We said nothing of significant size, I guess, but we've, uh, well, Andrew's caught a majority of them and they've, you know, their bite's been pretty, it's been reasonably steady for the last hour and 15 minutes or so, probably. Um, and Weston, I don't think he's hooked into any as of yet, but uh, he's, uh, right, he's coming along right. there. If he keeps on fishing, he'll uh, get into them eventually. It's because I like catching fish and it's really fun and I like being out on the water because cause I just don't know why it, I just like being out on the water. The uh, kids term it's a, 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 something you mark on the calendar that uh, we know that okay that day we're going to go fishing regardless what else is going on. Um, the, the grandkids um, love to fish. Uh, maybe not for four hours, but for some, Weston likes to, he's probably the main fisherman of the grandkids, but uh, it's great getting them out, gets them away from the TV, away from the uh, games, the DS3s and whatever the game of the day might be, uh, gets them out, enjoy the, the day. Hopefully it's sunny and it's been pretty good so far. Um, we even saw an osprey early this morning fly over top of us carrying a pretty big stick heading somewhere to uh, build its nest. So uh, that was kind of neat. That's something you don't see every day. Um, so the fishing's, catch, catching the fish is the bonus, just getting out here and enjoying the day and having fun is the big thing.
with, uh, with, with family. Welcome back to Backwater Casting. Well, it's 12 o'clock and the kids are coming back in to have their fish measured. Time for some trophies, some prizes, and most of all, time for some great barbecue. Oh! oh that's as tall as you are. Yeah, and also I caught two at once with that. Wow. At 12 o'clock, we start weighing in all the fish. And in each category, uh, so uh, basically eight years and under, uh, from nine to about 11 years old, and then 12 up to about 15. Those three age categories, they each weigh in a bass, a pickerel, and a, uh, and a uh, yellow perch as well. So what are you doing next weekend? You want to go fish a bass tournament with me? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 19 inches. 19 inches for Miss La Adley Laduser. So we have 27 trophies to hand out, one for each age category uh, and one for each uh, species of fish. All right, Cole. He's nine. All right. 12 inches. 12 inch bass for Mr. Cole. All right, we're going to put that back in the water. Eight and a quarter. Eight and a quarter. Okay. Mr. Cole Laduser. The fun part about fishing is wait, the waiting and when you get the fish, it's fun to get the fish in the boat or on the dock wherever you're fishing. Um, and uh, it's funny when the fish jumps and it lands in the net sometimes. All right, what do you got, Charles? All right, so we're waiting in a pick roll. 16 okay, inch pickerel. There, there you go. We have, we have a perch in here too. Okay. Six, okay. six and three quarters. And it's loud. That is a good six idea. and three quarters. This is our 12th year, and almost since the inception of the trust fund, they've been helping fund this one in our Woodstock Kids Tournament. And that comes, the funding comes from our fishing licenses, and it also comes from the conservation license plate. And a part of that money goes into the trust fund, which comes back to anglers, our kids, uh, different restoration projects around the province. The process for today doesn't actually start today. It starts about a month before. We have to put in our application for our New Brunswick Wildlife Trust Fund uh, grant application. That's uh, through Rick Green to the uh, Minister of Energy and Resource uh, Development, ERD. Uh, so about a month before we do that, uh, we got our, uh, our, our grant. But the trust fund's criteria is when they approve that, it goes to the Minister of Natural Resources and Energy, who's Mike Holland. Mike's riding is in Albert County, which is where he is right now, and the trust fund sent those documents to his Fredericton office. I called Mike on Wednesday. He got that signed Thursday. But a big thanks out to Mike Holland for making sure we got that grant in on time and going out of his way to sign that for us. Welcome back to Backwater Casting. Today we're going to talk about something that's pretty important to everybody that's out there boating on the water today, especially fishermen, and that's battery maintenance. And I'm going to start off with a very basic thing. I've been out fishing all day. I back my boat into the driveway. The very first thing I do when I get out of the boat is I plug my charger in. So I'm lucky I have a built-in battery charger on the boat, so I plug her in. Very first thing. And the reason for that is that is the key to long life on your batteries. A battery that's left partially discharged will sulfate, which uh, decreases the life of the battery over time. And the trick when you do batteries is not to mix a brand new battery in with old ones. So I have 36 volt trolling motor. I needed three just for that. So I've got three brand new interstates running the trolling motor. And for the first time, I bought a 31 series AGM battery and that's because these, these big motors usually take a thousand cranking amps. I'm running three Lowrance sonar units on my boat. I've got two recirculating pumps. I've got two fill pumps. I've got two bilge pumps. So a bubbler for the live wells. So there's lots of electronics running on the boat all the time. And you need good batteries to get you through the day. So that's what I've done. I'm trying an AGM this time. It's a beast of a battery. And we'll see how that works out for me. But if I can get another five or six years out of my batteries, I'll be tickled pink. A couple of times during the summer, if you have a battery that has the caps on it, it doesn't hurt to pop the caps off. Have a look at the fluid levels in your battery to make sure the electrolyte's not down below the plates, which will kill your batteries if it is. And only use distilled water. I go to the drugstore and I buy a gallon of distilled water just for that very purpose. 
and that will lengthen the life of your batteries just by a little maintenance. And none of us wants to get stuck out on the water with a dead battery. A lot of the batteries used to come with wing nuts and most of them today come with a, a regular nut. That's the way to go. Wing nuts, for some reason, you do not get a good tight connection on your battery. Now, I, all, these are all interstates. They all came with the regular nuts on them, which is great. So, you, And you can tighten them down. Um, doesn't hurt in your boat to have a wrench that will fit that. Um, I carry a small tool kit in the boat all the time so I can get at stuff, uh, you know, wire cutters, little wrenches and stuff, so I can get at little things like that that I might need to change, pull a cable off. If you can't get that nut off, it's hard to move that cable over to jump it off another battery. In the age group of 9 to 11 years old, in third place, with a bass of 13 inches, Francois Ayotte. Right there, bud. In second place in the 9 to 11 year category with a bass measuring a total of 16 and 3 quarter inches, Reese Skelet. Congratulations, bud. All the way from PEI. In first place in the 9 to 11 category with a bass. A total length of 17 and three quarter inches. Wilmar! S -s Sliding right in. Camera's He's all over the there, bud. Did you change like 50 feet out in the water like uh, Rick does there just before weigh-ins? <laughs> in the 12 to 15 old category, with a bass at 16 and three quarter inches, Gabe Stewart. Congratulations, man. In second place, with a bass that laid or that uh, measured 17 and a half inches, you've seen him up here already a couple times, folks. Big warm uh, welcome for Colton Stocktight. Woo! Good job, Ed. You must be getting used to this by now. Oh yeah, he's no pro. And the moment you've been waiting for for smallmouth bass in the age group of 12 to 15, first place with a bass that was 19 inches. Dominic Matheson. Congratulations. Round you go. <laughs> In the age group of six to eight years old, we've got a pickerel that measured in at 20 and one quarter inches. Cole Hudson. <laughs> if 20 and a quarter inches wasn't good enough, then 21 beats it out by just a three quarters of an inch. Meredith Marr in second place. First place, Taryn Lavalle. Congratulations, young lady. Turn around for photo op. And in third place, with 19 inch chain pickerel, Francois Ayotte. Oh, yeah, it's all good. When you're this good, you only need one name. Do what you gotta do. With 20 and a half inches, Braden. <laughs> Braden of the one name. And if we had a big fish for the day, this would be it. In the nine to 11 age category, Mr. Will Marr with 22 and a quarter inches. <laughs> Again. Come on, come on. With a chain prick roll of 16 inches in third place, all the way from down under, oh yeah. Mr. Charles Greenwood. That joke doesn't get old there, eh, Charles? <laughs> to end off the day and, like, get a trophy, it's also great um, for that fish I caught. Um, yeah, it's really been a great day. Again, 12 to 15 age, pickerel again. 16 and three quarters. A man that's not not unfamiliar with the stage, Mr. Colton Stocktight. <laughs> and lastly, the last award for pickerel, 12 to 15 age, 18 inches, takes first place for Dominic Matheson. Well done, buddy, number two. Yeah, here. In the six to eight category, in third place, Ten and a quarter inches, perch. We've got a tie. We've got Weston Morrow and Annabelle Ricketts. Come on up. 
Both of them got perched that were 10 and a quarter inches long. 10 and a quarter inches. One over there. Really good and I feel like I just like the fish. All right, so second place perch, six to eight years old with a 10 and a half inch perch, Taryn Lavalle, and edging her out by a half an inch, a half an inch, imagine. We got Annie Matheson with an 11 inch perch in first place. All right, we're gonna move on to the nine to 11 age category. Third place with a perch, Wilmer at nine and a half inches. So you got a small shelf full? All right. A 10 inch perch is gonna get you second place in the nine to 11 age category. 10 inch perch, second place, Reese Gallant. Oh, that's always a high five. And the big perch of the day, and first place for the 9 to 11 age category, Coralie Tessier. All right, last three trophies. 12 to 15 years old, a 9 inch perch is going to put you in third place for Cheyenne Stocktite and a Snoopy shirt. All right. The difference between third place and second place is a quarter an inch. A quarter inch. This is nail biting. Where are you at there, Gabe Stewart? Second place, Mr. Gabe Stewart! All right. Ten and three quarter inches. Ten and three quarter inches is going to take first place for the 12 to 15 age category for a perch. Anybody got a guess as to who that might be? Where's Dominic Matheson? Wow. There you go. Let's see you balance those for a picture. Yeah. Well, you know what? I think the event went uh, went great. All the kids were out on the water. They had a blast. They came back in. It was seamless for all of them. And lastly, what I'd like to thank is all of the people and all of the sponsors, all of the corporate organizations that have donated something today so that everybody goes home happy. So we handed out a bunch of uh, prize packs and a draw table to allow every kid to go up to the table to draw a prize. Uh, these prizes were donated by some of our corporate sponsors, smaller business sponsors, and by individuals within the association and outside of our association, actually. It's amazing the, uh, the amount of people that want to donate prizes for the kids. Um, so we let them get a draw prize and every kid walks away from that table with a big smile on their face. Uh, but I think every kid walked away happy Every kid had a smile on his face or her face when they're coming up to collect a, a prize or a trophy. And uh, I'm, I'm super happy that the, uh, that the day went, uh, went well. I saw this advertisement in the paper for this event and contacted somebody who got back to me and, uh, but never imagined that we'd actually go out on the boat. We thought we'd, he, Charles would just be shore fishing. Uh, so this is more than we ever could have asked for. And today, for Charles, it probably will be a, uh, something he'll remember forever, I'd say. We have an aging uh, group of people that are doing this, uh, this uh, tournament series, and I love to see the young kids come out. They come out, they enjoy this, and this is where they get their passion for fishing. So I think that uh, if you're not taking your kids out doing something like this, giving them a passion about something in life, I think we're failing our kids. And this is one of those things that I, uh, I'm passionate about, therefore I want my kids to be passionate about as well. Look at the size oh of that! Oh my god!